Hey everybody, this is Jonathan with Bivocational Ministry, and I want to do a real quick review of the New King James Minister's Bible, the new one that came out in 2018. Um, it's published by Thomas Nelson. It has come, and it's, this is the brown leather soft. This It comes in a really beautiful box. I really like it a lot. Um, I know that we make a big deal about these boxes, but I literally end up throwing almost all of them away, or I end up keeping them trying to figure out why do I have a box of boxes. Anyway... Uh, but here is what it says. You could pause that and read that if you'd like. This is kind of their sales pitch of why you should buy it. Here's the features that it includes. Um, and it, it's the complete Thomas uh, Nelson's Minister's Manual text adapted to fit between the Testaments. I think that's really awesome. We're going to talk about that here soon. It's the exclusive Thomas Nelson comfort print um, typeface. Um, easy read, easy to read, nine point type, sewn, lay fat binding, elegant, flexible covers, appropriate for any ministry setting. Small and portable, three satin ribbon markers. If you want to know the style, see if I can get that to zoom in. Let me click it. There you go. And then here is the back with all the other information. All right, let's look into this thing. All right, like I said, it comes in a beautiful box. It opens really nicely. And I got the brown leather soft. That is gorgeous. I love the look of this brown. I used to carry almost exclusively like a black Bible with me everywhere I went. Over the years I've really grown to uh, lean towards brown. I really like this. It's not real leather, um, but it is a, it's a leather light, -like. leather soft. It's very soft. It doesn't have raised ribs, but it does have this, uh, this on the side with New King James, Holy Bible, and goes all the way up. Now before I open it, let me move the box out of the way, put it down right there. I have a little tape measure thing. So if you want to look here, it's across. It is um, a little over five and a half inches. A little over five and a half inches across. And from the top down, it is about nine inches. So actually, it is kind of a smaller Bible. Um, I have another minister's Bible. I have a couple of them that I like, but they are they are larger, and I struggle with that. I love the more compact size, the easy to carry. In fact, they, the way they say it is small and portable. I like that. I've always liked a Bible that's small and portable that I can take with me wherever I need to go. All right, so let's look into it a little bit. It's got this stitch um, binding, not binding, stitched edged here. It's really nice, as well as you can see it on the sides out here. It looks really nice. Nice dark brown. There's the, the introduction. You, who are you going to give it to? Of course, I want to put my name there. Anyway, Holy Bible, pretty standard. Containing the Old New Testaments. New King James by Thomas Nelson. There's all the other, this is all the publishing information, as well as the Old Testament. And again, what I like about it is there's Old Testament, the resources of minister are in the middle. And when I get there, I'll explain why I like that an awful lot. And then it has, it kind of goes into a little bit. The first one is weddings, funerals, dedications, baptism, Lord's Supper, worship, pastoral care, invitations, and then the New Testament. And then it has some basic stuff in the back. 30 days with Jesus, one year reading plan. Okay. So this is the Old Testament. Now let's talk about this format a little bit. Let me see if I can go back to the actually first page of Genesis here. Sorry, it's very new. The pages are still sticking together. Quite bad. There you go. Okay. Very plain. It has it has their comfort print. I kind of like that. I'm not I'm not a big um fan of it. I kind of like the old print um, personally, but this is fine. This is fine. It does have some things in explanation notes on the bottom, but this is not a reference Bible. I think in all honesty, if I was to have my perfect Bible, I don't even know if it could be made. I like small and portable. I also like a lot of references. I don't like a study Bible, but I like a lot of references and alternate translations. That's one thing I liked about the New King James throughout its text is it gives alternate translations so that way you can understand what the text means without any other study resources without carrying around a big study Bible. And I don't like carrying those around anyway. It kind of tells you about the italicized words and then it tells you about the different uh, manuscripts of the Old Testament, how they may read differently. 
There is no center column references. It's a nine point font. Um, and it seems like it's just kind of a basic Bible. It's not real complicated, not real congested. It's real clear, real simple. I really like that a lot. Um, it does have the, uh, basically the um, section headers. I like that. I know some people do, some people do, some people don't. I, I like them. I'm glad they're in there. Makes it more useful for me. Um, so let's go, go on as, and you can, like I said, you recognize, um, you know, the, these different things here. And they, and they just give an example. It says Septuagint, Syriac, Targum, and Vulgate read abide. And it's going to talk about uh, Genesis 6.3 giving you the different manuscripts. That's one thing I do actually, I like and I don't like. Uh, Old Testament doesn't bother me um, as much as the New Testament, but that's just how New King James works. Um, pretty simple. You work your way through the Old Testament. Okay, and then we get, well, let me see if I can get past the ribbon. Actually, let me take a stop here and look at these ribbons. Um, so the first ribbon is, the first is right, right here. Nice brown ribbon that's real pretty it's a thicker ribbon it's not a thin ribbon it's a quite i'd say a centimeter maybe a centimeter wide i like that it comes with brown and then it comes with the red ribbon these are i real i like these are real classy colors i like the colors an awful lot and then lastly it comes with an orange ribbon right here right there Okay, and then actually that brings us into this resource section up to the minister. Now, what I like, let me show you the site here. If you look here, it has one little thing, one little um, uh, index, thumb index thing right here. And then you pull it up and that takes you right over to the minister's resources. Um, and what I like about this being in the back, now I have used minister's Bible. I have a minister's Bible that I used um, not a lot, but I did use it particularly for weddings and funerals. And it had all the notes in it, but it put all the notes at the back of the Bible. So you'd have to drive, you'd have to drive, you'd have to go all the way back here and then you'd find them all back here. Well, as you could tell, when you're doing a wedding, where's your Bible open up to right here in the back or yeah, right here in the back, the Bible's opened up here and it, and it doesn't hold well. And I like that it's in between the New Testament and the Old Testament because your Bible can just lay in your hand flat like this, not exactly in the middle, but close enough to the middle of the, the, the book, the Bible, that it will stay open and you can use it without concern that it, well, it's going to shut or that's going to be unbalanced. It's, it's enough here, and it's like I said, this is brand new, and I could stand up here and do a wedding, hold the Bible open, and it'd be fine. I've literally seen ministers take notes from back here, make copies of them, put them in the middle of the Bible. That way, whenever they open up the Bible, they'd have it close to the middle, so the Bible would just lay flat. So I think this was an excellent, excellent choice by Thomas Nelson. Um, if other uh, publishers are looking to do uh, something similar to this, I would recommend doing the exact same thing. So the things that I would look for in a, in a minister's Bible is one, that it um, that it's small and portable. These huge Bibles, I don't like carrying them. I like having something that I can carry in my hand as small and portable. The two, the minister's resources be in the middle of the Bible, between the Testaments, not at the end. And, and I personally would like to see uh, more references. I, I, I love the center column references. Even if it makes the Bible a little wider, um, I love would love to see the center column references to go along with um, with this simple text. So that way, because when I read my Bible, those references are highly used. And I'd like to read the Bible that I'm going to preach from, ministering from. I guess I'd like a Bible that I can use for all, uh, all occasions, including whenever I'm reading for my personal study. Um, and so that's one thing that I would kind of wonder how well this would be used because of the lack of the other tools that might come in. But anyway, it comes with the different um, ministers resources here. And then after this, it goes straight into the New Testament. This actually, you can tell, it's got plenty of resources. Okay. I like it. it. I like it in the sense that if you're a young minister and you just don't know how a lot of things work in the church, they don't make any assumptions. I remember when I did my first funeral, 
Um, I was put with, is my very first funeral. I had, and, and ironically, I have not been to a lot of funerals in my life. I have not had a lot of people close to me pass away for the first number, uh, for the first, until I was an adult. I had one grandmother pass away when I was very young. And I, so I had not been to a lot of funerals in my life at all. And so when I was preparing to do my first funeral, I forgot about the graveside service. And I thought it was just a service up there at the church. And sure enough, I was put with an old man who had done this a million times. And sure enough, he whipped out his Bible and he did the graveside service for me. And I was really thankful for that. But I didn't have that. Anyway, it gives you some more resources here. Quite a bit. There's actually quite a bit here. Then it starts the New Testament. And you're basically getting the same thing as the Old Testament. Very clear writing. No references. The only thing is it does tell you um, that the italicized words are there for, there for clarity. It does tell you the different manuscripts and what they say and how they read differently uh, in, in the textual families. Uh, critical text, majority text, and then the New King James text is the Texas Receptus. It is a red letter Bible. Okay, so that's good. But I do like it. I mean, I like it a lot. Um, and then, like I said, there's not too much there. I do like the fact that it has these section headings even in the New Testament. I like that it makes things a lot easier to find, especially if you're not familiar with exactly where in a book. It's like, oh, I know the book. I don't know exactly where it's at. It comes here with a re one year reading plan. I think before this, it comes with 30 Days with Jesus, which I will be checking out myself. We're putting together a um, Disciples um, Challenge, and I think this would be a good fit. So I think I'm, I might be using this. So there's that. Again, one year reading plan, and it comes with basic maps that you normally would get. I think I've seen these. These might be a little more clear than the ones I've had in the past, but they're pretty much the same maps you're going to get with any Thomas Nelson Bible. And then it gives you that in the back. It closes up. Again, here's that number right there on the back for you. Let's see here. Alrighty. Um, and that's basically the review. I think it's going to be a good, uh, good use for... Um, for ministers, I like it an awful lot, um, and I would recommend to other publishers of other translations. I, everybody knows I'm a fan of the MEV. If you put together one, I would recommend doing some of the things I suggested as what's done in here. I think they're done really well. So you all have a great day. God bless.